Hey everyone, it's me Barb and I wanted to show you a few quick simple tricks for decorating for Christmas or if you don't do Christmas the holidays in Disney Dreamlight Valley because we got all of these awesome new items that we can work with. So I decided to do a room and I settled on my entryway with a living room dining room combo. So picking a theme for what type of room you want to decorate can be super helpful. And I decided I wanted to add a little touch of magic because the floating candles from our previous event, the Halloween event, reminded me of Hogwarts. And I thought of a Hogwarts inspired Christmas. So for my little entryway, I decided to set it up with a little um, sitting area over here with a green couch and a red chair because Christmas theme. Oh, there we go. The fire's on. That's much, much better. And I wanted to have, you know, the Christmas tree, of course. <laughs> and then a little dining area and a presents area. And I made use of basically almost all the items we got for the event. So uh, the little Yule critter, I forget his exact name, the tree. I put the carpet under the tree as kind of a makeshift tree skirt. The garland all around the top. And for the table, you can put individual items and food that you cook on it. So I use multiple of the place settings. I put some cocoa on there. The gingerbread house that you can cook from the event. The cookies, a couple pies and a fruit cake, the roll and a fruit salad with the, the cream on top. And I did go ahead and put some nice little lights over because I thought that accented the holiday colors very well. And then some chairs to go with it. And over here, I accented the holiday fireplace by giving it just some logs, um, the little flowers just as an accent as well. And again, some more of the floating candles. And I did go ahead and put these windows everywhere I could fit them, but then I wanted to accent certain walls with paintings instead, right? So I couldn't very well fit a window there because I wouldn't be able to put garland above it um, next to the fireplace. And it would also uh, clash kind of with the fireplace. So I tried to put them on every wall I could. Um, even though, if you imagine I have a back room here I go into, you wouldn't be able to see outdoors. I still wanted a window there because I thought it was cute next to the tree. So, um, pardon the paradoxes within my windows. <laughs> um, I did go ahead and put a music box here because you can imagine just the holiday music playing. And over here we have some tea because what isn't better than a hot cup of tea with the holidays? And I tried to mix in just some normal regular items so it doesn't feel like, hey, let's just use the Christmas theme items. It feels more lived in. So when you're decorating, if you can take something that is an item that's maybe from another event or an item that's not from an event at all and mix it in, it helps. Like um, this little coffee cart over here with some books, the shelf on the wall you know, small little touches. And between the event items and all the other items, it just helps it feel a bit more homey, you know? So if you guys are decorating at all for the holidays, if you don't mind, tell me about what you're doing for your decorations. Are you decorating indoors only? Are you decorating outdoors? Are you going to be doing a bit of both? Are you not decorating for the holidays? Um, what did you do to make your areas feel special for you? Like that magical broom. I just, I want magic, you know, magical Christmas. So I look forward to hearing what all you did with your decorating. And uh, feel free in the comments to tell me. I have linked my Discord group in the description. So if you would like to hop in the Discord, you can even send pictures of what you've done for your holiday decorating because I would love to see it. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tiny little tour of one room in my house and the Christmas decorating. And I look forward to seeing what you all did. So until next time, I'll see you guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please click like. And if you'd even like to, you can subscribe and turn notifications. And I'll let you know when I post future videos and when I do live streams. And um, today is December 9th. 
of 2022 for anyone watching this video later. And later today, I will be doing a live stream of decorating a winter wonderland in the Frosted Heights. So until next time, I'll see you guys around. And I hope you have a wonderful day playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. Bye for now, guys.